Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I'm on today just to do a little haul for you. I ran to two different Dollar Trees this morning. I hit Hobby Lobby last night. I really didn't pick up a lot, but I thought I'd show you what I did grab. Um, I found these two pocket envelopes. Uh, they are by Jot and uh, they are 10.2 by 5.35 inches. So I thought these would be nice to kind of um, gather some of our documents and put them in here, you know, like a social security card and um, oh, like some savings bonds and things that each of the kids have. And then this would be nice to either put in our safe or put in a document holder. Uh, they do have this zipper up here on the top where you can put in a little bit more. So I grabbed um, some for each of the kids and then I grabbed a couple extra to use in my craft room if I thought of, you know, something I wanted to do with those here. Uh, next up, I got these little uh, clear scoops. This is a two pack. They come in a couple different colors. There is clear, blue, purple, and pink. Um, and they're kind of like a nice, bright, vibrant color. But I grabbed these to do my scoops for my confetti. I thought it would be cute to scoop with this clear scoop. I just really liked that. The smaller one, I'll find something else to use it for. But like I said, it comes in the two pack. Um, I found this tiny little treasure chest. <laughs> Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it was super cute. It kind of got this little detail on it. They did have like a perfectly square one, but I liked how this one had this little lip on it. So I'm going to paint that and use it for something down here in my craft room. I just thought it was really cute. Um, I bought some uh, adhesive dots. I keep these next to me in my little craft cart. I use them when I'm, I'm packaging up uh, swaps and things like that. I really like these adhesive dots. You can tear them apart. So I have them like all ready to go. So I'll open them up and then I'll go ahead and separate them all. So when I'm crafting, all I have to do is just reach over and grab them. So I'll do that with the rest of them and put them in my little, my little uh, pocket in my tear tray. Um, I did find some more of this camper fabric. I am in love with it, and I did find this that coordinates as well. Um, this is what the camper fabric looks like. It is so stinking cute. Look at that. So I had one roll. There was probably about five rolls, but I only took two, so I have a total of three now. So I've got those, um, and that was it from the $1 tree. I thought I'd find some more fun Easter things out, but I think all the new stuff is out already, but... I did find the pom-pom trim. They're really like neon this year. Like these two really look neon. These two don't as much. These are more of a softer color, but I like those. I try and pick these up when I see them, at least one of each color. Um, I finally found these. Tina over at Tina's Craft Creation had shown that she had picked up some paper clips. Um, actually a whole, I think office set in this like rose gold color or copper color. But I just picked up the heart ones. These are just regular paper clips with a little heart inside. And then these are heart shaped. They also had um, arrows and maybe a star. I don't, there was something else, but I didn't pick it up. Um, I grabbed a couple of these Easter baggies. I like to have these on hand for little treat bags. Um, they had this bunny. I think this bunny with the striped ears is new from last year. They also had the polka dot ears and I think I still have some of those so I didn't grab those but just grabbed these. Um, I don't think I had any of these from last year and I think I used my carrots from last year too. So grabbed those and then the last thing from Dollar Tree I have absolutely no use for this, but it is so stinking cute. It's almost like a big rubber duck, but it's a big pink flamingo. And you guys, it lights up. Like, hold on, let me see if I can show you this. Isn't that so fun? Like, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just put it on a shelf in my craft room or um, give it away. But I love it. I think it's so cute. This shape right here, I thought maybe it was a phone holder. Like, I wonder if it would support your phone. So maybe I'll use it for that, but... Anyway, I, I needed to have it. Okay, I'll uh, clear some of this out of the way. Hobby Lobby, what did I get? So my daughter wanted me to make a resin uh, keychain for her. So we picked up these little, they're called dye seashell pieces in all different colors. So she just wanted a purple one. 
I've never worked with resin before. I have all this stuff for it here, but I'm, I'm kind of intimidated by it. So I thought maybe I'd start with that and <laughs> give it a try. Um, these next couple things were new in the bead section to me. So these are like little flowers and they're Bead Design Company. Um, bead Design, I, I'm trying to think what was on sale. I don't think Bead Design was on sale. So I think I paid full price for these. Um, but they're glitter. They're like little resin flat back pieces. They are not, I don't think they're, yeah, I don't think they're beads. They're just resin flat backs. So they're like, you can make it into a butterfly. You could put something right here up the middle. Um, or you could just use them as flowers. You could put something, you know, a little um, pearl or something in the middle to make them flowers. So I thought those were cute. And there's a bunch of different colors. So I've got uh, yellow, green, red, blue, pink, white, and purple. So quite a few colors. All right. Um, and then I got these cute little lobster clasps. They are the jewelry shop. And they look like this. They're plastic. Um, and they've got little glitter in it. But I thought they would be cute for chunky charms. Oh, I liked them. They're something different. They've got like an opaque color to them. Uh, these were brand new to me. These are little cherry cabochons, and I, I love, I love cherries. I have a cherry tattoo for absolutely no reason. Like, I got it when I was 18 years old, and I don't know why I got it, but it's, it's a part of me. So, um, these are like a pink and red. There's two shades of pink. There's this really bright pink, and then there's the baby pink, and then the red. So, those are super cute. Those were $3.99 for 16 of them. Uh, the butterflies were $3.99 for $12. And then in the spring shop, I just picked up these little bitty flowers. I think they're so pretty. They have a little bit larger size like this over in the bead company section as well. Um, but I like these tiny ones. So they're flat back. They come in the pink, white, and turquoise color. Um, and you get 15 of them. They were $2, but 40% off for the spring shop. And they look like that. And they're not super thick. The ones in the bead shop are a little chunkier. So um, I think these would fit better on a project. All right. Then my main purpose for going was to pick up a few more recipe cards. So I did end up getting two more of the lemons. Um, and then I got two of this um, floral. So I thought this would maybe go with garden party. I was going to make like a Maggie Holmes one. So I got two of those and then I picked up some cards. Paper Studio wasn't on sale, um, but I grabbed this for $7.99. It is uh, 25, nope, 50 cards and 50 envelopes. So 100 pieces total. Um, and then I bought the card bags as well. I was thinking of making some cards and keeping them in my um, vintage booth to sell. Uh, so, you know, people come in to buy a gift, they can just get a card right away too. So we'll see how it goes. And then lastly, I did pick up these um, catalog cards or file cards from Tim Holtz. And they are like a, kind of like a library card, but I thought they would be really cute to embellish and tuck little goodies in. So these are the tabbed ones. They look like this. And then these, what are these? These are just flat pieces like this. And then these are like card pieces like this. So they're not meant to go together, I don't think, because they're all exactly the same size. I mean, you could cut um, this one down just a little bit to fit inside here if you wanted to, and you could cut the flat paper, paper down a little bit to fit inside too. But um, I thought those would just be neat to craft with. So that's it, guys. That is everything that I picked up. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.